Hello and welcome to the channel. This is your host, D-Day, bringing you Enigmatica 2 Expert Mode. If you're enjoying the series, please hit the like button, subscribe, and most importantly, leave a comment. Thank you so much and enjoy the show. Alright, let's get this party started. Let's see, where did we leave off on? I think it was... Yeah, we made four electric pumps and the electrolytic separator is what I needed to... Uh, Let's see. To make the heavy water, I need four filter upgrades. One, two, three, four. That'll make the pumps be able to uh, pump water, but give heavy water. Uh, so that we need those. Uh, and then we need another rotary condenserator. Okay. Basic tank. Basic gas tank. I'm clicking too fast. My computer can't keep up. And a energy tablet. And a another rotary condenserator. Okay. And then let me do this gas tank. There we go. I know I should auto craft this one and two, and then one and two, and then. One and two, and ultimate. One and two ultimates as well, and they don't stack. Okay, so I think that is, no, yeah, we need another ender tank, two ender tanks, so that we can do the liquid deuterium. What's missing, the middle, yeah, it's cauldrons. Aluminum, iron, iron, one and two, one, and oh no, are we out of wither dust? I hope not. Okay, good. We're out of wither bones now, though. And two, and then deuterium is a pink, so let's go with magenta. Cool, we got two. Two of those. And let's see, I think... That, plus the piping that I have, is all that we're going to need. Let me go straight into the DT fuel as well. So let's grab the chemical infuser. Would help if I spelled it right. Chemical... where are you? Oxidize... In chemical infuser? Yeah. So we're missing dynamic valves. We need four of them. We're missing dynamic tanks. So two more dynamic valves. And then we're missing the infused diamond. Cool. Chemical infuser. Awesome. And then we need a whole room. Whole room. Oh, I have to actually make this. Oh, cool, we can finally use the metallurgic infuser that I put coal into, so four gold. One, two, three, four. And let's go do that first. All right. And then I was building last night because uh, I couldn't sleep and I realized that I might have forgotten to mention that I'm making both fusion reactors, both the uh, mechanism one and the nuclear craft one at the same time. That's why I'm making both of the fuels at the same time. I don't know if I mentioned that <laughs> and if I didn't, I'm so sorry. So yeah, like, uh, I was mapping out the area, and I used stone to 
uh, make temporary buildings. The, this is where I want them both to be. So the nuclear reactor from, or the fusion reactor from nuclear craft is going to be over there, and then the fusion reactor from uh, uh, mechanism is going to be right here. So I don't, I don't remember if I if I mentioned that. Uh, I cleaned up the area. I made it the lip a little bit wider. So yeah, I, I think I'm pretty sure I forgot to mention that um, the liquid form is going into an ender tank, which is going to fill the dynamic tank. That liquid is what the nuclear craft one burns off of. Then I'm also going to take the gas, which I'm going to store in ultimate gas tanks, and the gas form of that same uh, type, I guess, uh, that gas form is going to power mechanism. So gas, tritium, and deuterium, I think it's deuterium, is going to power the mechanism one, and then liquefied tritium and deuterium is going to power that one. So yeah, I ended up running the pipe, and then I realized, did I mention that I'm doing both? <laughs> And so I cleared this area as well because this is where we're going to be putting the uh, water pumps that we need to get heavy water. So let me grab, we need uh, energy, we need, keep forgetting, mechanical is water, and then we're going to need pressurized for the gas, Yeah, and logistical is uh, items. So we have that. Let me put down, whoop, I didn't mean to throw it. Let me put down the, well, I don't need to put them down now. Um, oh, I do need two buckets with water in it at the minimum. Let me just do all five and head towards the nearest water source where, uh, there it is. Meow. And these bionic legs from the, uh, Quantum suit when it makes run like ridiculous. Two, three, four, five. That's enough. And let me grab my Matic. Where are you, buddy? There you are. And I need to be careful because this thing destroys the ground. I want them. Let me put the pumps down first. So let me see. I made a hole. So I can't run. The other pipe here because they'll connect. I wanted to run the pipe here. So I'll put the start the water here. Like that. Okay, so the power face is away from me. There. And there. And do okay, I need to move the pickaxe. Pick will be go. Get that guy. Like that guy, and then it faces away from me. So this way. Or no, yeah. Me vein mine. Let's do it like. Hmm. Hmm hmm hmm. Like that. Um, I need to get rid of that one, that one, of course, that one, and that one. That's where the water will be. So let me put those four down first. Just to make sure. I'm not sure how water ends up flowing. One. And mm, two. Okay, that's an infinite water source now. And then let me knock out this one and this one. And I could just use the same bucket. So in the middle. One. And just to make sure. One. 
Did I double? Oh, I made a second hole, didn't I? That's what I can't stand about this Matic. It's so good that it just sh ends up shredding through. So I faced them towards each other so that I could save on piping, on power, I mean. We'll do that. And then... Oh man, just in case I want to extend. Mm, I want to make sure I don't dig myself into a hole. Power, power. Let's see. Going down. We'll do pressurized tubes. No, mechanical pipe for the water. But before I do that, let me put in the filter upgrades. One for you. Let's see if I can shift click these as well. One for you, yeah. One for you, and one for you. And I know I have speed upgrades. One, two, three. Let's do that. I need more. I should, I should make a boatload of these. Speed upgrades and energy upgrades. There we go. There we go. Yep, and yep. Okay. So, ultimate mechanical pipes can go on top. And I'll put one here. Hmm. I want to make sure that I leave myself room if I want to expand. The power would have to come out here. We can bring the this with it. So we can make it look nice. Let's see if I drop the electrolytic separator here. And then Let's see. Power will probably have to come. Let's see if I can do this. Electrolytic separator up here. Okay. It's looking like it's working. No. Because when I pull gas, these will connect. I'll move you back one. And the ultimate. And then the electrolytic separator. Really? Why'd you go backwards now? Oh, I put down the wrong item. Stop being weird. There. And I, f yeah, I need another power cell. So let's grab a power cell. Power. Need one of these linking cards. And let's make a power cell. We need to make a regular one. What is this? Machine frame, simple power cell. We need a machine frame. No. Yeah. Go back to IC2 and let's replicate a machine frame. Let's see. Okay. 
Machine case. Machine frame. 26 millibuckets. One of these. One of these. Four mana diamond or infused diamonds. And a power cell. Go big or go home. And then back to new mech. And then I can sleep this off. There we go. Cool beans. Let's see. Power cell. Let me drop you. Like, let's see where I'm not going to need. I'm hoping that the deuterium is going to exit out this way. Let me put you down. Put a linking card in, and I'll set you to output. There goes the heavy water. Making deuterium and oxygen, and I will dump excess oxygen. The deuterium, if I'm looking at the front of the machine. Wait, did I, I successfully put it in the back of the machine now? Okay. Hey, if you're working, that's good. I'm not going to complain. It's just I'm having some kind of a derp de derps when it comes to learning these mechanism machines. So I'm assuming that I'm looking at the front of the machine now that deuterium will exit out the left part, so which is this one. So let's do another mechanical. No, wait. It's a, it's a gas. Oh, it is a gas. So I should have been able to do a pressurized tube and it wouldn't have connected, but it's okay. I'm not going to take it apart. I'm going to set you to pull. Where are you? The... Oh yeah, I moved all my tools in here. Configurator. I'm going to set this to pull, which it's not pulling. Hopefully when I connect something, it'll pull. It says empty, so it's probably filling the pipe and it hasn't rendered. Uh, the deuterium yet. So let me run this pipe. Hmm. Mm hmm. Hmm. Let's see. Like this. Or let's already go down one. Yeah. Let's already go down one. And then this pipe I want to run down here. Towards the mechanism reactor. There we go. And then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to set the... Where did the two tanks go? Where did my two ultimate tanks go? There's an ultimate tank here. Did I leave them in the system? No. I wonder if I used the ultimate tanks to make the chemical infuser. That would have been a coincidence. Oh, how funny. I really did. <laughs> I wanted to make two extra ones. I didn't know that I was going to need that. Durr. So let's make just one more since I have one in my inventory. Make a basic and make an advanced. Make an elite. And then make an ultimate. And then I'll use the other one that I already have in my inventory. New mech. All 
All right. I'll put you here. I'll put you here. So those will start filling up with deuterium. And let me see, config, eject off. Just in case, I don't want it to start wasting. Eject off. I'm not sure if on off matters, but I don't want it to be purging and constantly be refilling. If it's full, I don't want it to keep going. So that's the gas form going downstairs. That's the gas coming downstairs. That's both of what we need for the mechanism. Then I was going to set down a rotary condenserator for the liquid form. Deuterium, good. And that gas needs to be condensed. Yep, because I need it to turn into a liquid. So let's see if I can... Hmm. I really don't want to. I I really don't want to go down and under it, and ha and find out that these pumps are no longer working. Like, I don't want it to stop working, and I don't know that it's not working anymore. So I will run a pipe this way. It's also it'll make it visible. And it looks like energy can be accepted from uh, all sides, not just that little plug part. And I'll make this all look prettier later anyway. Deuterium, liquid deuterium, perfect. Now it's a liquid. So I'm going to grab a ultimate pressurized tube, yeah? Now, mechanical pipe because it's a liquid. I'm going to set you there. And I'm going to set you to pull. And now come the ender tanks. I'm going to put you down here. And I'm going to change you to pink in the middle. Merp. And you're filling with liquid deuterium. Perfect. See, like, why can't mechanism machines... Like, what did I do differently today that made all of the mechanism machines go down perfectly the first time? Uh, I'm not going to complain. Not going to complain. Very happy. Okay, so now we can go downstairs. And here I have one pipe already ready. And I'm going to run the other pipe now. Mechanical pipe is... No, I need pressurized tube. Because this one's a gas. Come on, buddy. There you go. And then how do I have it? So it's symmetrical. That is the height that I have it coming out. There, there, there. Okay, now I just need to run you through. Now I'm going to have a temporary setup as well. So it's I want it to exit here. go. That's going to fill up now. And then this one is going to go there and there. And uh, that's both of the fuels. Then I want to have a temporary setup for the whole realm coming down. Let's see, where are you? Right there. Chemical infuser, please. Right there. And then power, please. Where are you? No, that's the mechanical ultimate power. Awesome. Deuterium. Pressurized tube. There we go. D 
DT fuel, drop the whole room, whole room, it's German for hollow room, whole room. Uh, I'm gonna fill that one up. No, this one, buddy. Jeez, I'm glad it didn't fill it up with tritium. I wouldn't know how to get rid of it. But I mean, it's four gold, so so yeah. I needed, I need this is like just the spark. So I'll let this fill up just for the hell of it for right now. That looks kind of neat. I like that. So let's also set up the second tank. So this bad boy is gonna go here. Man, I was hoping I was gonna be able to... No, not that one. Should use my other pick for Silk Touch. And then let me turn this one pink. Really sucks that my white, white, white has a little bit of tritium in it, but bummer. Uh, let me switch the cobblestone that I just made out. So this one is set now to the deuterium liquid. Perfect. And then I'll put this and this and this back. And I now it's a liquid, so it needs to be a mechanical pipe. We'll put that here, and then we need to set this to pull. Nice. And now this one's going to fill up with this pretty red color. So I guess it's not magenta, it's red. I should have done red. The more you know. <laughs> so I need, what? One, two, three. Three stone to fill that in and that'll be done. And then yeah, that's the center point right here for nuclear craft. I'm gonna do everything under the unit. I'm super excited. And I'm gonna keep these open just in case I need more lithium and more brine. Uh, that, I that's all I needed the machine for was the for the whole realm. So let me grab that and Liquid chlorine is, is prepped and ready for uh, titanium, but where we had to take a short detour. Let me put this up and let's teleport back to the sorting facility. And now it's fusion reactor time. So this one, I don't think I have it written down because I wasn't expecting to do the mechanism machines to work this quickly. Um. Fusion. We need. That's for nuclear craft. Yep. That I'm pretty sure I don't have the materials to make that. But we're let's do at mech. At mechanism. Fusion. Hmm. Dynamic tank, steel block, dynamic valve, pressure, superheating, boiler. Turbine, reactor, there it is. We need reactor frames. All right, and what's cool about these steel casings is uh, I scan these. Uh, oh wow! I don't. I probably don't need that many reactor frames. I scanned them and printed them out with UU matter in advance. I hit uh, repeat on the matter replicator, matter fabricator, and I went to bed. And when I woke up, I had 64 uh, steel casings. So I pulled them out, threw them into the storage facility, and I let it run again. And when I came back from work, I had another 64. So I don't think I need. I don't think I need this many. I I, I goofed because I was thinking of 83 total steel casings, and and not 83 reactors, uh, reactor frames. But we should have everything we need now. Reactor control. Oh, so the reactor controller requires this fusion core. 
from nuclear craft, which I don't have. I hope I can. Oh, two more chemical. Oh, wait. Do I even have chemical reactors yet? And then, oh, man. I hope we don't bottleneck ourselves now. I need to make more advanced platings. Okay, good. Um, what am I missing? Just the middle piece of the chemical reactor, which is a machine, machine chassis. And let me grab another chemical reactor. And let me see if chemical reactor is a quest and I'll let it ding. Oh, well, yeah, I had it open. I should have just read here. Well, 56 total for for it. And then however many we need to make the, I'm gonna make three reactor ports. Um, I wanted to check nuclear craft to see if that was a quest. Nothing dinged and I can, if it's one of the, there it is, chemical, no, yeah, chemical reactor? Yeah, so it'll ding later when I hit detect on it. Uh, we need this guy. So we need the middle piece, which is another machine chassis. And now, fusion core. And now we need another ultimate gas tank. Okay, I'm gonna do it quicker like this. I really should set this to auto craft, but I don't have enough of the molecular assemblers to make uh, more auto crafting recipes. Let me put these water buckets and buckets away. Though those water buckets will probably be great for crafts later when I'm not prepared for it needing water buckets. And then we can drop that in here and that, and then uh, oh yeah, I gotta type up here. Reactor, there you are, controller. Nice, first piece of the, f the of the fusion reactor. We made enough reactor frames. We need reactor ports which I want three, so I need to make four. Uh, we need the laser. Let's see. Failed to save world, that sounds terrible. I wonder what the issue is. Um, I better make a backup. I'm gonna freak out if, if my world's not gonna, if it's gonna disappear. So the other one was reactor glass, right? There we go. So yeah, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. I have more than enough reactor frames. Uh, some of it's going to be reactor glass so that we can see inside and then we need the laser laser focus man laser I'll just do laser because I need to search another laser I need to get this laser as well oh and I just shift clicked all of the steel casings so before I do that let me show you what I meant I see two I switched to steel casings and then I hit repeat and then I let it uh, do a full stack and when it fills the stack it continues to fill with UU matter. Part of me was worried that I was gonna cap out and lose uh, UU matter so I made a quick decision and set this to auto craft. So for the lasers I want I need the amplifier and I need one two three four 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 so let me grab four while while I'm here because one side needs to be the output for the laser and the other side needs to be a lever that I'm gonna have trend pull when we're ready so laser okay laser what are you missing okay we need a bunch of these tablets 
So four, that's eight. One, two, three, four, five, five, six, seven. Let me check, make sure. Tablet, okay, yeah, there's eight. Laser. And I knew it. One, two, okay, so you autofill, that's good. Three, four, and then uh, laser focus. Laser amplifier, I need that one. Okay, I need a basic energy cube as well. I need another steel casing and I need another two tablets. One and two. And let's see, go back to IC2 and grab these nine. It's always good to have these steel casings that are really, really worthwhile. Laser amplifier, what's that? Laser tractor beam, I don't know. Laser amplifier. We need that for the basic cube. And then an amplifier, sweet. We got the laser amplifier as well. And then we need the, wasn't that a laser focus? Let's check the book since I had it open. Laser focus matrix. Ding, ding, no, oh, I'm, I'm really excited. Laser focus. Oh, oh, that's why. Like it looked a different, it looked like a different item to me. I thought it was completely hollow. And unfortunately it makes two, what is that? Reactor glass? Okay, okay, so it used some of the reactor glass I wanted. 20, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save that for right now. And there's the fusion reactor, perfect. How are we on mechanism? Mechanism, quickly becoming my favorite mod. Yeah, we just need to make these tier installers. The quantum tangle porter is going to be a little difficult. These two I've just been lazy about. I wish there were different loot boxes for the really hard stuff. So let's see, what does the fusion reactor get us? A random animal. Sweet. Is it eight? It's eight random animals. If only I could throw them all into a fenced-in area and have them all battle royale. <laughs> Enderbook, new mechanism. Okay, so let me make sure. I could just vein mine this away, but I wanted to make sure that I'm going to place this in the, the correct area. So that is going to be a reactor block, reactor block, reactor block, reactor block. So let's frame, I mean. One, two, three, four, and now let me vein mine it, because it's not attached to any other smooth stone. And bam. So that's where I want it. There, there, there. Makes it three by three. And then it's got little nubbies. Cool. And then another one on top. And then the sides. Cool. And then it makes a three by three here. So one, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, 
two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two, three, like that. And then these are going to be filled in because it forms the same exact look on the sides. And I could have sworn this unit, this thing was black and not brown. It's a terrible looking brown. And then it has one here, there, there, there. One there, we'll go straight into the reactor controller, it goes in the middle on top. One right there, cool. Then let me grab this. Okay, so I want power to come out here. I want fluid in here. I want fluid in here. That's where the three ports are gonna go, there there and there and then the middle can be glass so I'm gonna take this one out and this one out and replace it with glass neat and this side I'm going to remove the middle again and make this glass so we can see inside. Then this side I'm going to remove the middle and make it glass as well. Cool. And then that same thing again here. Make this glass. Okay. Um, hmm. Then I'm going to have it ignite here. So I'm going to change that one out with one of the laser focus matrix. That's where I'm going to have the laser fire. I'm firing my laser so that when we walk in the front door we can see the reactor when we look from all the way over there we can see the reactor without any anything in its way i don't really know how much that dot from the laser focus is going to matter but i want it to look pretty it's important and then i can re remove this one and that one, make that glass. And that glass and that glass. And then I need, yeah, I made way too many frames. That, that, this, and hopefully particle effect. Perfect, nailed it. And then that's the controller, which that's where the whole realm goes in. Whole Raum. I don't know why I over accented my German. German is my first language, so I guess I got a little excited. Whole Raum. And let's see. This is the cool part. Uh, we need the pressurized tubes. And let's get you in. And get you in nice and here I'm going to have to set the laser use some stone for right now I don't know if it matters how close the laser is at the height yeah and then I need the laser amplifier which say okay the dot is actually facing the right direction, is it? 
The red dot is facing the correct direction. Perfect. And so I'll get rid of you. I'll get rid of you. And this is going to be temporary. I'll put down the... No, you're not supposed to do that. Hmm. Let's see. What happens when I click on a surface with the laser? It faces the opposite direction. Good to know. Um, mechanical, universal cable. Let's see, wie mache ich das jetzt am dümmsten? This, this, this. One, two, one, two, one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three. Like this. And perfect. Perfect. Sweet. Um, That. Is that enough space though? Do some quick math. One, two. So the laser needs to be on this level. So one more. I guess I could just straight go into the cable. Cable, cable, cable. Are you under it yet? Nope, one more. Cable. And... I'm gonna need more cable and I'm gonna need another power cell. And I don't worry about the power cells. I need, oh yeah, I need another machine frame. So let me grab that and I need a power cell card. Um, mechanism. No, not IC2. And let's see, I will let you finish that one. another machine frame so that I have another power cell Are you lagging or what where does it mention power anywhere thank you okay There's that, and I'm pretty sure I'm going to need four more of these. Three. That, and that, and that, and this. And let's make some more cables while we're at it. Let's see. It's called Universal Cable. So make some basic ones. 16 sounds good. Upgrade them. Upgrade them. And upgrade them. And let's go see if we can set this laser up. New mechanism. We can sleep. Boom. All right. So yeah, the rock. Uh, the, the smooth stone were just placeholders. So let's replace the rock now with ultimate universal cable. Okay. 
Oh no, that's not what I wanted to do. Okay, so you need, what is it, one space in between, right? Yeah. There. Hey! Why won't you work, buddy? Dude. If that goes down here, it has one block space, so since you're being difficult. Can these lasers not fo face up? Let's see. Gas, fluids, items. And so I'm holding down shift and I'm using scroll wheel. I went to rotate uh, up. I hope you're facing up and not down. Perfect, thank you. If this is the only time mechanism is being rude to me, I'm okay with that. You get to be rude to me once a day. <laughs> okay. Go down. And then let's do this side before I go back downstairs. Lasers. Let me put a lever on it first. Can I set this? No, buddy. Whoa, this jetpack. I'll set you to, okay, it's set to disabled already. Let me, before I connect this to power, let me hit, hit it up with a lever. I really should get one of those wireless uh, AE terminals. Whoa, wonder why I made so many levers. Probably for the, uh, yeah, for the molecular assemblers. Uh, new mech, not lava. Boy, new mech. And lever. State off. You better be off. Ultimate universal cable. There, there. There, there, there. This, like I said, this is temporary, but I still need it to be symmetrical. So I'm weird like that. Okay. All this stuff is attached. And if you think like me, you know exactly where the power cell is going to go. And linking cable and out. Ooh, that sounds pretty sexy. Why are you firing? You're set to off, homie. Oh, dude, come on. because it's, it's set to high. Why would disabled, oh, just dis, I guess disabled means it doesn't matter, it doesn't care. So, okay, it's storing. I'm gonna let this bad boy store. We're definitely not going to be able to finish this today. Uh, let's see, today is Wednesday. Tomorrow is Thursday. Tomorrow we'll do a little bit more prep work, see, make sure everything is doing well and Tomorrow night is when I play with Trin, and I'm going to let her flip this switch, fire this bad boy up. So this is pretty sweet. These lasers look nice. And I mean, one thing that's great is we could tell that the, it was firing in the, in the correct place. That's good. 
Uh, we got gases filling in here. That's cool too. And see, okay, heat, no heat. Okay, case is losing heat. It is losing plasma. Losing plasma. Losing heat. It's gaining an internal buffer of RF. Yeah, water to steam is something extra. Okay, so these arrows are lit up, so I guess it's turning. Plasma, case heat, power. So does that mean it's generating a little bit of power? Fuel, deuterium, tritium. Oh, let's set the injection rate to two. DT fuel zero. That's no problem because we're going to feed it the deuterium and the tritium gases. That is super important. The mechanism one runs on gas. So yeah, that's heat. I guess that doesn't really matter. Fuel. That's cool. Statistics. Uh, when did this happen? Oh no. Every YouTuber that I've been watching that plays this pack, it said minimum injection rate too. This one says six. I pretty sure I'm not gonna have the 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 fuel generation to make this happen I really want to fire this thing off tomorrow I'm gonna do a lot off camera tonight then or maybe tomorrow too yeah because we have one more episode where it's us and then the following episode is when Trin fires it up so I can save the next episode to adding on to this system so let me Fuel injection rate minimum six. So let me change that to six. Minimum injection rate six. Heat. I, I didn't learn anything about plasma and, and case heat. Fuel, deuterium, tritium, cool. Injection rate. Storing, producing. So it's producing a little, I guess, okay, so yeah, like the initial zap from the laser is what ignites it, and that's probably what in, it turns on the heat, and the heat is what burns the two, f it ignites the two fuels, which causes the heat. So since the heat is dissipating, it's also, and the heat generates RF, which it's dissipating because it's cooling down, because there's no reaction going on, of course. And the whole ROM, I don't think it'll go off. That's where it goes. It goes in there. 10, I guess, millibuckets or or 10 uh, uh, of the unit of DT fuel gas will be the ignition. And let's see. I mean, it looks pretty sweet. I like it. And the energy, of course, we're going to pull out the back here. So I'll put down universal cable, and then uh, what I'm going to do is, hmm, I wonder if I should just keep this here, because I'll look at it. I was thinking about firing it, knocking it out so that it goes off, and then moving this power cell to here for input, but... Depending on how this looks from the sky, if it looks cool and it fits in between, maybe I'll just leave it there just in case we ever have to restart the reactor. I don't know. I'll probably get rid of it, but I'll leave that there for now. We got steel casings, we got that, we got this, ultimate mechanical, So yeah, what I'll leave off on is 
I'm pretty sure that these two tanks full of tritium, they're full, full on tritium. And these two tanks, they're filling with deuterium slowly. Oh yeah, what I forgot is I was going to do more speed and more energy upgrades. I'm going to put in more speed and energy upgrades in these machines here. That should, it's getting enough heavy water. And it's dumping excess oxygen. It's not working. The electrolytic separator is not working fast enough. So it needs speed and energy upgrades. And then if the heavy water dies out, I'll put more pumps and then we'll see what, I think the two bottlenecks for the this to work are the water pumps and the, the solar neutron activators. Those are the two things that have probably most likely have to be expanded. But uh, I'm really happy with this episode. We got a lot more done than I thought we were going to get done. I thought I was just going to do the other fuel source. I wasn't expecting to be able to put together the entire fusion and la uh, entire fusion reactor and the, the laser and have it start charging. So this is a, was a great episode. Uh, I'm really hoping that that one uh, block of the from the cave illuminator is not going to be in there when the reaction goes off. Maybe when the reaction reaction goes off, that'll go away. Uh, hmm. I don't know. Maybe it'll look even cooler, and maybe I'll be like the super lucky guy that that can't even be done on purpose because the cave illuminator picks where it wants to illuminate. So maybe it'll look even cooler, and I'll have a one of a kind reactor, but. On that note, uh, I'll leave you guys, and thank you so much for watching, and definitely, definitely tune in tomorrow. Thank you again.